G'day everyone, it's Aaron Malik from realestatemarketing.net.au here and I thought I'd send you out a quick video on a topic that I hope you will all find very useful. So the subject is follow up and guess what? In any kind of sales business, if you don't follow up, you'll lose heaps of money. Uh, prior to me getting into marketing, I was in sales in the IT industry and follow up. If you didn't do follow up, you never got the business. So it was very rare that you made a call and got a deal on the first call, which is very rare. The only time that happened was in retail actually, but that's the nature of retail. So I'm guessing that if you're like me, one of the things I used to hate was following up because you'd have to pick the phone up and call somebody and you say, hi Fred, it's Aaron, I'm following up on the proposal I sent you just to see where you're at and if you have any questions. And usually they'll give you some excuse, oh, you yeah, know, we're still looking into it, I haven't had time to do it, blah, blah, blah. You know, after about two or three of those calls and or a couple of emails involved in the whole process, you start to realize, you know what, I don't think they're going to make a decision just yet, or I don't think they're actually interested, etc. And I used to hate doing that because you get to the point very quickly where you feel like you're harassing them and you're nagging them. And it was just very needy and unpleasant. So I know in real estate, particularly that follow-ups are super important because it takes so long from your first contact until they list and sell a house for you guys to get a lot of deals. You know, it's not uncommon for you 6, 12, 18 months, maybe even more between that very first contact, however you got it, to when they actually, hopefully, come and sign on the dotted line and get you to list their house. So if you're like me, follow-ups are pain. Um, it also takes time and it's difficult to make the time for it. So I've got a great little strategy for you that will make it easy, easy, easy to do follow up. And it will, you can automate it as well, actually. I'm not going to go into how to automate it this week. I might do a video for that in a week or two. But this, the process is really simple. What you do is you sit down, do a brainstorm with your colleagues, go to your email inbox, look at all of the emails you're getting and exchanging with prospective clients. Put together a list of the top 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 questions that you commonly get asked by people, frequently asked questions, and just start answering them. Break out the old phone, set it up on a tripod, this little cheap and nasty silly thing. You can get one of these for about 12 bucks at a, a eBay or Kmart. It just flips onto the phone like that, clips on there and attach it to a $50 tripod and you can easily set that up in front of yourself and then record it. Um, and just start answering the most common questions people have. So let me give you an example. I've got a list here, two pages long, no, one and a half, two pages long. This is just a small list. I could easily come up with a couple of hundred um, questions for buyers, sellers and property investors. So some questions that people might ask. Sorry, I need to put my glasses on. I can't read that one. <laughs> Um, so people might ask, what do I do? What should I do before selling a house? Or what should I do to sell my house? How can I sell my house fast? How do I sell my house on your own? You might say, well, I don't want to show them how to do that. Well, there's a good strategy behind that. We'll talk about that another day. What do I need to do after I sell my house? What are the costs involved in selling a house? Um, what are the real estate agent fees? Have you got some tips for preparing a house for sale? Um, how to style or present your house for sale? Uh, what's the home selling process step by step? What to look for when selling a house? Um, how to sell your house for more? That's got to be a big one. Um, real estate selling tips, etc. You know, should I do auction versus private 3D? Um, you know, there's all sorts of things. And then there's you know, easy, plenty of questions you can come up with. So all you do is sit down and you record your answers to each of those questions. Ideally one to two, maybe three minutes. Um, just do it quickly and easily. And if you're not comfortable doing it, have a friend sit next to the camera, just behind them and, and essentially interview you. So you're, they're talking to you. Now, whether it's a colleague at work or they go home to your partner or your friend or whatever, find some, someone will do it for you. You just write the questions and then you answer the questions. And you take each of those videos and you segment them out into, let's say they're two minutes long on average. You segment them out and what you do is you upload them to YouTube or you upload them to Facebook. And then what you do as a follow-up process after you've done those first couple of calls and you know maybe they're not ready to do something yet, or even if you don't have a phone number and you don't have a way to follow up with them except via email, then you start sending them an email maybe once a week, once every two weeks. You know, you'll have to sort of feel out what works right for your market. But it'd be just an email going out to, 
Hi Mary, it's um, Fred Smith from ABC Realty here. Um, just thought I'd like you to send you a link to a, a new video I just recorded on how to improve the price of your house when you sell. Um, it's up on YouTube. Here's the link. Enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. Just send that email out to them. next week or next fortnight. Yeah. Hi Mary and Fred, it's John Smith here. Got the name wrong from before. Um, I've got a new video for you on the subject of what's the process of selling your house from step A to step Z, as it were. Here's a link, it's on YouTube or it's on Facebook, wherever you want to put it. Off you go. And if you've got 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 of these videos recorded, you can follow up once a week or once every fortnight for literally a year if you've got enough of them without having to pick the phone up once and nag them. Now, I'm not saying don't keep calling them because you need to do that, but this is a really, really, really cool way of following up with people without bugging them. You're just giving value and they get to see your face and see your name and hear your voice and get to know, like, and trust you. And because I'll tell you what, that one of the biggest challenges you face in, in a selling profession, particularly in real estate, is trust. People don't trust real estate agents. They don't trust car sales people. Most sales people are not trusted. So get past that by not trying to sell to them. Give value, answer the questions, encourage them to send you their questions and you'll answer them with a video. And you can automate that process. You can set it up into a, a something like a, a MailChimp, for example. It's not my preferred option, but it's a, a one option. They used to be free, I don't think they are. You could literally set that up to go out every week automatically without any involvement with you. All you need is an email address from someone to join up with the list and it can be going out there. And you can be doing follow-up on a regular basis. So guess what? This video you're watching is my first video and you're going to keep getting them from me now on. I'm going to, I've already compiled a list of questions. I'm going to record a video probably once every one to two weeks. Just depends on my schedule. And I'm just going to be emailing them out to you. Okay. Now, you don't have to watch them. You can delete my email. You can, whatever you want. But if you like them, you'll watch some. And if you don't like them, you won't. That's fine. But the point I'm making is that it's my way to follow up with you without being a pain in the butt. And if I can do it and it works for me, I know it will work for you. And particularly with real estate, it's one of those things that there's a lot of questions people have and they need to build a lot of trust. So you've got that challenge. All right. Any of you watching this video who've been to my real course, you've spent eight hours with me going through the course. So you already know who I am. Uh, most of you at least know me. Hopefully you like and trust me, but that's your choice. <laughs> point I'm trying to make is you don't have that option with a lot of prospective vendors. They don't even know you from a bar or soap. So make it easy for yourself to follow up and you know, ideally automate the process. I guarantee you, you will get a hell of a lot more business coming from that just because you're not consistently ringing them and bugging them all the time. Like I said earlier, don't give up on the phone call, but do the, the follow up by email as well. All right, guys and girls, Lovely to speak to you again. Um, look out for the next email and the next video. And if you have any questions, send uh, find me back a reply to the email. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, other than that, have a fantastic, it's the 28th of February here. Have a fantastic March. I hope you sell a heap of houses and make a lot of money. All right, see ya.